In problem 4, we are simplifying an expression with products, still using the concept of raising a power to a power. So let's start with 4f to the power of 2 times 2fg, all raised to the power of 3. We'll rewrite this as 4, just bring in the 4 over, bring in the f squared over, and next, dealing with what's in the parentheses, that's 2 to the power of 3, so times 2 to the power of 3, and then we have f to the power of 3, so times f to the power of 3, and lastly we have g to the power of 3, that's times g to the power of 3. We will rearrange these, let's keep the 4 with the 2 to the power of 3, We'll write the f's together, so that's f squared times f cubed, and lastly the g, times g to the power of 3. Now, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so that's 8 times 4, which is 32. f to the power of 2 times f to the power of 3, remember, can be simplified by adding exponents, so that gives us f to the power of 5, and lastly, we just bring over the g to the power of 3. Next problem. We'll bring over the negative 2 and the b, and now deal with what's in parentheses. 3 to the power of 2, so that's times 3 to the power of 2, And now the a, that's a to the power of 2 also. And lastly, the b to the power of 5 raised to the power of 2, which recall means b to the power of 5 times 2. Let's go, re go ahead and rearrange these. We have negative 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times a squared times b, which is the same as b to the power of 1, and b to the power of 5 times 2, which is b to the power of 10. Now let's simplify. 3 to the power of 2 is 9, and 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. a squared just stays as a squared and the b to the first times b to the tenth becomes b to the eleventh. Lastly, we have this product being raised to the power of six and this product being raised to the power of two. So now, x to the power of four to the power of six, we can write as x to the power of four times six, and next we have y to the power of 6. Next we have the 4 raised to the power of 2, so times 4 raised to the power of 2. We have another x, x raised to the power of 2. And lastly, we have this y to the power of negative 3 raised to the power of 2, which again means we are multiplying. So let's start by rearranging these as 4 to the power of 2 times x to the power of 4 times 6, which is x to the power of 24. And next we'll bring over the x to the power of 2. Let's bring over this y to the power of 6 and bring over the y to the power of negative 3 times 2, which is y to the power of negative 6. 4 to the power of 2 is 16. x to the 24th times x squared is x to the 26th. And y to the 6th times y to the negative 6 is y to the power of 0. We can simplify this further now if we recall that anything raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And multiplying by 1 just keeps everything else as it is. So this simplifies down to 16x 
to the power of 26.